What's up guys, it's Matchbox Madness, back today with another casting review, and today we're taking a look at the Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe. Now, of course, it was just over a year ago, or probably two years ago at this point, that Matchbox got, the, or Mattel got the Mercedes-Benz license back, and Matchbox and Mercedes-Benz have been teaming up to do some absolutely fantastic models. This is the newest of the bunch. We've already seen the 6x6, uh, 6x6 truck, the SLR McLaren, the Mercedes-Benz G-Class uh, truck, or the G-Class uh, wagon thing. I can't remember what type of car it is. It's a truck, wagon, whatever you want to call it. But um, this one looks to be one of the best models yet, the GLE Coupe. Let's go ahead and get it out of this packaging and onto the turntable. So here it is, the Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe looking very, very nice. Um, starts off in kind of a boring color for its first edition. It's kind of a dark gray, um, but I'm not going to complain too much. Um, I really like the uh, gray tinted window. That looks really good as well. Um, so kind of a boring color, um, but I don't think uh, that lessens the model at all. It makes it look more stock and realistic, something you'd see on the road, and I like that from my Matchbox cars. Um, as for the wheels, it's just the simple five-spoke wheels. No complaints there. They work well with this casting. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tampo treatment that this model got. On the back, we'll focus in here. You can see we get the Mercedes-Benz lo oh, Mercedes logo and some nice tail lights. Can't quite tell if they wrap around. Um, doesn't look like they do. Um, on the front side, again, we get the headlights and the Mercedes-Benz logo on the grill. Nothing in terms of side deco, but um, that's uh, to be expected with a kind of street car like this is. Um, all in all, it looks like really nice tampo work. Um, you get front and back, which is always good to see. Um, really increases the realisticness of a model. Um, as for the casting itself, it looks really well proportioned. Um, I don't know if this is just me complaining. I think it might be the Mercedes-Benz itself. Um, from pictures I've seen, this looks exactly like the Mercedes-Benz uh, GLE Coupe in real life. Um, the car in real life, just like this casting, does look a little awkward. It wants to be a coupe, but it almost looks like it's sort of turning into a hatchback crossover type deal, um, which makes it just look a bit awkward, like it's not quite a coupe. It wants to be one, but it also is a little bit of a crossover, so it just looks a little awkward. So the real model, like the real car in real life, looks a little awkward. Um, the Matchbox manages to catch that kind of awkwardness I see in the car. Um, and all in all, fantastic ex execution, proportions, lines, everything's great. It absolutely captures the identity of the real car. On a scale of 1 to 10, we're going to give this thing a 8.5 out of 10. I really like it. I think uh, the Matchbox team did a great job with this car. Um, it's, it's one of my favorite releases of 2018 just because it's such a unique car, and I love the Mercedes-Benz Matchbox relationship, and this car is just really well executed. So um, if you're going to pick up a car, um, this is one I definitely recommend for the collection. It looks really good, especially the first edition. Personally, I will be getting all versions of this car because I really like it. Um, so that's all for now, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.